Hi friends, this is the Rate I Old Monk, and today we are with the Nokia 4.2. And this was launched in MWC. We are going to check out the device, what are the box content, also see the camera features. We will also do a gaming video separately. Here are few spec sheet given at the back. It comes with a 5-point SD plus display, 2.5D curved glass. This is a 3GB, 32GB variant. It is coming with the Octa-Core Snapdragon 413 processor and it has a Android Pie 9.0 running on it. We will talk about each and everything. Currently, I will take out the box and will show you the box contains first, here you can see, this is typical Nokia boxing that we have seen earlier also, so the Nokia phone does come with a similar kind of boxing, here you can see it is an Android 1 device, there is a SIM card ejector tool and some paperwork for a warranty and safety guide. Now coming to the box, there is no earphone, here you can see there is a micro USB charging cable and there is also a charger here, you can pause the video and check the rating of the charger. Now talking about the device, the device definitely looks gorgeous, it is a similar kind of packaging what we have seen in the 5.1. On the side, we are getting a LED notification here, you can see the light is blinking, when you get a notification, it will start blinking, this is the power button also at the same time. It comes with the volume rocker keys on the side and you can see the notification is definitely beautiful and different in thinking. Now talking about the back side, it comes with a 13 plus 2 megapixel camera with LED flash and also at the same time there is a fingerprint sensor. Nokia branding is written in the bottom also given Android 1 and uh, coming to the top there is a 3.5mm jack and also the noise cancellation mic. Now talking about the slot, we are getting a 3 dedicated slot in the device here you can see. It comes with a 2 nano SIM card slot which supports 4G VOLT and there is an expandable memory card slot. It also has a Google Assistant button dedicated and here you can see once you press it, it goes directly to the Google Assistant and will help you to ask the question. Here I will show you one more time, it is easy to play it around. Now talking about the bottom side here, you can see there is speaker grills and micro USB charging slot with a noise cancellation mic. It comes with the mono speaker. And in the front what you are getting is an 8 megapixel camera, the device packs with the 3000 milliampere battery. The price point of device will be around 10,000 something, 10,500 something. But I am still not sure because this is an early box, this is not a retail unit. Talking about the apps what are given in the device, it are, they are the general Google apps. You can see the Google Home, Clock, Contacts, these are the general apps what are given in the device. Now going to the settings, there is also a face unlock comes in the device. Here I will show you how to do the face unlock. Here you have to do add the face. Once you do that, you have to put your face in front of camera. It will take less than one minute to register your face. Once your face has been registered, then it is very easy to do the unlocking. I haven't tried and tested in the low light scenarios. But the face unlock is an additional feature we haven't seen in the Nokia devices earlier this feature. But finally the face unlock comes in the device and now talking about the other things in the device it will also fill the light in the low light scenario. I haven't tried that in low light scenario once more I am telling you. Talking about the device hardware specification it comes with a display of 5.7 inch SD plus display with 2.5D curved glass. And it is running on Android 9.0 Pi. It comes with the processor which is octa processor Snapdragon 439. And the last update of the security patch given in the device is of February 2019. Here you can check that also. So it got the recent update and most probably it will get Android Q also. Because Nokia is always known for giving the OS update very soon. Probably the soonest. Don't think much about the bloatware because it is definitely not pre-installed in the device. Now jumping into the camera which is one of the important part of the device. In the bottom you can see there are modes like bokeh mode, pro mode and there is auto mode and video mode. So the pro mode where you can play around with the ISO and other settings. Now jumping into the video mode, we will check out the video setting. Here you can see the it comes with the ROS file support at the same time. Now video resolution for the front camera, it has a full SD and SD support. For the rear camera also it has a full SD and SD support. So you can record video in both the devices in full SD and SD from front and the rear camera. Now talking about the device, it has a raw file support which is a good thing. You can do the burst shots and there is some of the uh, more settings which include the square mode, time lapse, google lens is included and there is a 
panorama mode so these are the modes what are coming in the device the camera app is very simple there is nothing much in it it also has a flash in the above it comes with the timer this is all about the camera now coming to the face unlock here you can see the device is definitely quickly unlocking with the face unlock and there is also a fingerprint sensor we will show you that also here you can see the fingerprint sensor works smoothly there are two colors the black color and the pink sand type color these are the two colors which will be coming for the device this is a 3 gb 32 gb ram we still don't know the exact pricing of the device so this is all about the nokia 4.2 please like the video share the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for us